up, nerds? We're here at Hong Kong Disneyland Resort in Hong Kong. I'm so excited to come into the park and check it out. I don't think it's open yet, but as you can see, people are already packing in to go into the park. So we're going to go in and show you our day. So let's go. Tomorrowland. You have a couple of rides and a couple of restaurants. We ate at the Starline Diner. If you're looking for more westernized cuisine, I would go there. They had like chicken wings, veggie burgers, burgers, chicken burger, which they did not let me order because it's on the kids' menu, so whatever. If you're looking for something pretty easy that you're used to, I would go there. I am a picky eater, so it worked out for us. Hyperspace Mountain is over here. It is Star Wars themed, it's just like all the space mountains oh, at the other parks. But <laughs> it's like the third time they've made this announcement about a parade starting. Do I keep talking? So behind me we have Hyperspace Mountain. It is Space Mountain, but this one is Star Wars themed. I would have to say it ranks number two on my list of Space Mountains. I've been on three Space Mountains now. Number one would be Tokyo Disney. Their Space Mountain is the bomb. It is amazing. Number two would be Hyperspace Mountain behind me, and number three would be Walt Disney World Space Mountain at Magic Kingdom. This Space Mountain behind me, Hyperspace Mountain, at first it starts out really slow, and then you're kind of like, oh, is this the name of the game on this? But then it speeds up, and you got the Star Wars sounds and the Star Wars music. You gradually go faster and faster. It's very smooth. It's very dark. I loved it. You also have the Iron Man experience. At first when we were walking through it, I thought it was just like a museum of Marvel stuff, but it's actually very similar to Star Tours, uh, which you have in Tokyo Disney and Walt Disney World and Hollywood Studios, but it's Iron Man themed. Um, so you get on, you got this whole thing with Iron Man. Also, probably should just say, when you get on the ride, more than likely the people in front of you are gonna stop and sit in the middle. Don't be offended. It is just a different culture that you're in. We did have to walk over like uh, five or six people to get to the seats on the end because they're the last ones in and then there were no more seats. So it was a little weird, but again, don't be offended. That kind of stuff's gonna happen. I do have to say I like Star, Star Tours better, but it was a very cool experience. Iron Man's cool. I just wish there was more wow moments, which, you know, in Star Tours, you usually have like a initial big drop and then you get to meet different characters and it's always different every time you go on it. I believe this one's the same every time you go on it, but you know, when you exit the expo, you pretty much can go into a store and buy all Marvel stuff and then you can meet Iron Man. No offense to Iron Man or any of the Marvel characters, I don't really care to wait in the 30 minute line to meet them, but if you're with a child that loves the Marvel characters, is where you'd want to go. Fantasy? Fancy land? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are in Fantasyland in Hong Kong Disneyland. It contains a couple of rides. The castle's actually blocked off, which is really sucky for us being here. I don't know if it was from the typhoon that came through. They're actually doing work to it. You can't really access the castle, and it's also the smallest castle I've ever seen. It is tiny. Over here, you have the carousel, which we just got off. This is the carousel. It's it's the same carousel that you'll find at all the parks, except for at Disney Sea, where they have the cool Aladdin one, which I always want to ride the genie. We have Dumbo, it's the same Dumbo you'll find at all the other parks. We have It's a Small World. I do have to say that It's a Small World 
added a lot more Disney to it than all of the other ones that I've been on. So I thought that was cute, um, but it also is, it's a small world, so if you're not a huge fan of that ride, I wouldn't go on it unless you really want to see the extra Disney things. You just have a couple of character meet and greets, and then you have Pooh. We actually didn't go on that just because the line was a little bit long. We might go on it later. And you have Philhart Magic. We also didn't want to go on that because I'm pretty sure it's not in English, and I would think that would be the same one as at home. Um, so we're gonna not go on those. Maybe if we have time later, we'll go on those, but for right now, that's what's over here. It's not too, too much. It is very much for little kids, and that's fine. It's very cute. And again, I wish I could see the castle. It is blocked off. You can kind of see it a little bit. Very disappointing that we couldn't get closer and get some better pictures, but what can you do? Yeah, it's a very cute area. Carousel's nice, Dumbo's nice, and they have this nice view in the background. Yeah, definitely check out this area, especially if you have little ones with you. They'll love this area. It's definitely the children's area of the park. Storyland in Hong Kong Disney. I believe there's only three rides here unless I missed one. Three, okay. So we have the race car way, I think is what it's called. I'm not 100%. It's basically the race car that goes back and forth. I don't know why Walt Disney World did not decide to put it in Hollywood Studios in their Toy Story Land because the swirling saucers is pretty boring. Toy Story Mania there is awesome. And the Slinky Coaster there is awesome, but like, I feel like it's still missing something. They should have added that ride. I don't know why they didn't. The Slinky Dog Spin. Obviously the coaster in Walt Disney World is way better. This one is just your average kind of like fair ride, spinny, bumpy, not very fast. Um, so it's kind of for kids, but that's fine. And then we have the parachute drop, which I thought would be a lot more intense than it was because people were screaming uh, before we went on it, but it's very light. There was pretty much like a two-year-old baby that went on before us. I was terrified for them, but it was fine. The ride was fun. Um, it was very cute. It was very G-rated. I felt like the raceway is definitely more for adults or kids that are very adventurous. If I was a little kid and came here, I would have been afraid of that ride. I would not have gone on it. But yeah, it's super cool. This area is very cute. I do like the one in Walt Disney World a little bit better. It has a little bit more. Toy Story Mania is really set up. They have more characters out every time we get to the character, there's only one spot. The character is leaving. Um, I feel like everything has been closed over here. This looks like it should be a shop, but it's not open. Uh, the restaurant didn't open until like way later in the day. We got around this area, probably around 11 a.m. It's now 2 p.m. and everything's finally kind of open besides some of the shops. I got this churro over there. I have to say, I love churros, and this is actually cold, and it just came out of their oven, so I don't really know what's up with that. I would definitely say, check out this area. It's definitely for kids, as you can hear them screaming in the background. It's pretty terrifying. It's pretty awesome. All right. Grizzly Gulch. I don't know what a gulch is. It sounds like s to me. I don't know. Chris will bleep that out for all the children that watch this. For you adults, you know what I'm talking about. It sounds weird. We also went to a land called Mystic Point. It only had one ride and a couple of like things that you could check out. Mystic Point had Mystic Manor, which is, is very reminiscent of the Haunted Mansion, except it has <laughs> this monkey named Albert. There's a music box and he sets this music box free and it like lights the castle, not castle, but manor to life, and I feel like the entire time they're trying to like murder this monkey. It's really intense. I actually got scared like twice just because of, you know, things popping out. At one point there was a cannon that like was right in our face, and another time they were like dropping bugs. It is like Haunted Mansion, but it is not Haunted Mansion. I get 
their vibe and they're probably trying to do something on their own. But yeah, it, it was a fun little ride. I definitely recommend going on it. It's not too scary, but like I said, a couple parts do jump out at you. And now, like I said, we are in Grizzly Gulch. Grizzly Gulch is the home of Big Grizzly Mountain. I know that Big Thunder Mountain always says, it's the wildest ride in the wilderness. This ride is like 50 times better than Big Thunder Mountain. We've been on Big Thunder Mountain at Tokyo Disney and at Walt Disney World. It's a fun ride, it really is. You have to sit in the back when you go on it. This ride, definitely sit in the front. There's a lot of surprises. It goes way faster, it's a lot smoother. It is so fun. We actually just went on it twice. Probably going on a couple more times before we leave. I love that ride. It's probably my favorite ride that we've been on since we've been here. It is so fun. So yeah, they're two very small areas. They have a couple of restaurants. The restaurant over here looks closed, but again, it's very Western food, chicken nuggets, that kind of thing. And the restaurant in Mystic Point had more Vietnamese, Chinese kind of cuisine, I would say. Stuff that I probably wouldn't eat. It had like octopus fritters, which no. This area is very cute. It does remind me of Frontierland, but it's more, I guess, grizzly bear themed. I would definitely check out these areas. Definitely go on Big Grizzly Mountain. It blows Big Thunder Mountain out of the water. If you've ever been to Bush Gardens, it really reminds me of Big Thunder Mountain plus Cheetah Hunt, just because it had those surprises, but it was a really fun roller coaster. I loved it. Chris loved it. It was awesome. So check those rides out. great trip. I'm so glad that we came here. Next week, or in the next couple of days, we're gonna be going to Shanghai Disney, which has the biggest castle. So we'll see the smallest castle versus the biggest castle. Very excited, I've seen pictures. The castle looks beautiful. And then we have Halloween time here, which I do kind of wish it wasn't Halloween time here because I like seeing the park in its normal vibe. I love this park, it's awesome. Waiting five minutes or less for anything is always awesome. If you go to the Magic Kingdom, you're gonna wait 30 minutes and be like, wow, that was a really short wait uh, because everything is always like an hour wait there unless you get fast passes or have the disability pass, which you can get right on. We didn't need fast passes for anything here, but it is an option. So you can always keep that in mind. Their fast pass kiosks were kind of hidden. I did see them as we were walking around, but again, it's kind of unnecessary. As far as the food and snacks go, we had a couple of the Mickey ice creams. I got the mini one that had strawberry ice cream. It was very good and I tried the regular Mickey one. It tasted a little bit more minty than the one at Walt Disney World, but still very good. So we waited for about five minutes for my churro and it ended up being still cold, like from the dough. That was a little disappointing. I feel like I never get a good churro at Disney ever, but I love churros and I'm waiting for that good churro vibe one day maybe. We're gonna spend the rest of our time at the park going on all the rides again. We're gonna go buy some stuff. I'm gonna definitely get some stuff from my baby niece niece and my brother and my sister-in-law and yeah, anyone else who I know that really likes Disney. I'm gonna try to get shirts for as many people as possible and then obviously do the same at Shanghai. You have to say so far, my favorite right here, since we've pretty much been on the ride, so my favorite ride here was the big Grizzly Mountain. That ride is fire! It's really fun. People are staring at me. I've had several people ask to take pictures with me, which is pretty funny. It's a great park. I had a great time. Again, we're gonna spend the rest of the time just kind of chilling. We've been having a lot of mic issues, so we're gonna try to put that to sleep. And hopefully we got the audio for today. I would say if you ever wanna make a trip to Hong Kong, definitely come to Disney. It's worth your time. We've been to the park three times, so if you just wanna do like a half day, it's doable, 100%, and hopefully it's not all 
blocked off like it is right now. But yeah, we're, we're gonna spend the rest of the time just doing everything again and probably gonna eat some dinner. If we end up going on any other rides that we didn't go on, I'll be sure to talk about them later. And then, like I said, we're gonna do a haul for both Hong Kong and Disneyland. Um, all the merch that I bought and if I found any other Disney items just shopping in Hong Kong or in Shanghai. But yeah, super awesome day. Come to Hong Kong Disney. You'll have a great time if you're a Disney fan. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like this video and subscribe to all your friends. I'm trying to get that following base, y'all. Um, and just try to get out there. Our Shanghai video will be next after this and then we'll have the haul video. So several videos in a row for you to look forward to. Again, like and subscribe. Bye.